Hello everyone and welcome back to World Warship and today very interesting uh, topic it's the Italian cruiser line let me know in a comment below this is the tier 4 Ju Juicy Juisano something like that I have to apologize now I actually managed to shut down none none less than 30 planes down it's actually a uh, all right ish uh, cruiser at tier 4 uh, you will face many times probably two aircraft care sometimes even three so back to port and let me know uh, overall general about the cruiser line it's the Italian cruiser line are kind of a fast kind of a, a fun to play I liked how they move and how fast they are however the biggest downside I figure out it's very low DPM you're not a quite a cruiser a cruiser should open fire each and every time but it takes ages and I mean really ages to reload the guns and for this tier 4 this uh, you know 36 second turn time of uh, guns it feels pain in the butt it's really slow probably one of the slowest together with some uh, Japanese cruiser but they have you know we're giving buffed uh, lately uh, Furutaka and uh, Oba and stuff like that so what I'm trying to say guys that it's it's painfully and you cannot put a fire and the biggest downside with, with the Italian cruiser is that a battleship <laughs> give me your best shot I shoot you you cannot hurt me because you know I have a good angle and if you don't aim for the superstructure you're never gonna do one uh, uh, one big huge of damage so what I'm trying to say is that this is the worst cruiser line for battleships because you cannot put uh, on fire you may argue that the British has same problem but the British light cruisers they do have smoke and pretty darn strong torpedo it's not the Italian torpedo the torpedo lethal you should never engage um, a light cruiser uh, British because of the torpedo threat the torpedo th threat it's a real deal even though you may argue the same story um, with a Royal Navy cruiser you cannot put anyone around fire the DPM is way way higher you can definitely do the role of uh, Italian cruiser not so much in the Italian one Italian one your freaking support long range uh, AP spammer that's what you are or they sap spammer it's extremely effective versus destroyer but uh, guys guys whatever is aiming uh, to destroy is doing whopping damage you may argue that probably this is the most lethal salvo versus destroy it that it's true however However, uh, if a battleship is or bow on, what the heck are you doing then? Then you're gonna struggle because you're never gonna do a damn thing to, to, towards battleship. And, and you know, cruiser versus battleship, this is by far the worst uh, cruiser line. Now, let's talk about the British oncoming uh, um, heavy cruiser. I do believe from tier 6 all the way to tier 10 you have heal. Not super heal, but you definitely have heal which is good i believe they are way way better a cruiser line than the italian ones uh, so yeah let me know in a comment below guys and before i gonna end this video i would very much would like to go to armory and there is a question i would like to answer because i don't know that the reason i'm asking this question is because i very much would like to know um Italian Navy all right black Friday that's the thing black Fr Friday you have different captains for uh, 3,500 doubloons you have the Alaska's Massachusetts uh, uh, Sims and Atago they are all 12 points captain which is a big deal a regular captain 10 points cost 1,500 doubloons uh, 12 points black captain cost 3500 doubloon so my question is, is simple let's say if i'm um, would like to purchase this atago black uh, b for the mogami the regular tech tree uh, ship can i do it um, is is it a good option if you let's say i have low with uh, bad uh, uh, japanese 
uh, cruiser captain or any kind of Japanese Navy captain. If you purchase this Atago B Black bundle, uh, this captain, do you think that you can put in any Japanese cruiser or a ship? You can do. Can, can you do it or can you not? That's the thing. Is this? But yeah, I, I, I believe three thousand five hundred. It's pretty all right ish for twelve points captain, uh, because this is the easiest way to jump to to come closer to fifteen points. The most ideal uh, captains is at least fifty points. Even when you have uh, fifteen points captain, you can compete with other. Otherwise, you kind of a struggle. Uh, let's say five points. Destroy a captain versus a 15 points captain, the same nation, same ship, you cannot compete because the 15 points captain will kill you earlier than you can kill him. What I'm trying to say, if you have equal uh, HP pool and equal, uh, equal start. So this is the gimmick that I don't like about this game. Um, IDPMU, we have the same ship, but I have 19 points captain, you only have, let's say, 6 points captain. Is it fair to fight? It's not, but it is what it is, guys. And this is the also reason, of course, there is a uh, coal and some other uh, containers. I did um, purchase the Black Friday containers, I only received camo, nothing crazy. I uh, This one I, I purchased. Let me know in the comment below. Do you find anything great in the Black Friday uh, containers? I only had the the camos. I received like 20s black camo. That's all. So let me know in the comment below what you think about this uh, four deal super Black Friday uh, gimmick. I believe, and this is my personal opinion, it's that uh, sh sure there are some great ships you can purchase and seems is ridiculous cheap in my honest opinion. However, most buck for your money, I still believe it's those unique 12 points capped on the black ones. So have a good one guys, take care and bye.